What's up guys and girls, this is Timmy and welcome to Turmoil. So this is a new game that's uh, in early access at the moment, but I believe it's about to go into full release in, well, 3rd of June, which, depending on what happens with my terrible uploading, should be in the next couple of days or so. And it's a game which I kind of saw a couple of YouTubers playing and I saw on Steam and I thought, for various reasons, this is right up my alley because I love anything to do with mining. Uh, there's so many of those sort of casual games like Gem Miner and Gold Miner and Mining Gold and various combinations of mine and gold and ore, which I just love all those kind of games. And I saw this one, I thought, ooh, I like the look of that one and I want to record on it. Plus it has a brilliant pun based name with the word oil in it because it's all about oil mining and it also has the word term which I'm not really sure what the word term means but kind of rhymes with worm and worms live in the ground so we'll just assume that's what they said but anyway so I'm going to dive straight in I have played a little bit just to get my head around what's going on with the game and I think I have a pretty good decent understanding of it and it's quite fun it's another one of these games which would make a really great casual kind of uh, tablet slash uh, smartphone game but it works well on the PC as well so right we're gonna start a new campaign we're gonna ignore my previous one and basically what you get up to start with is you get to choose one of your four characters you have woman number one Blanche 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 whatever you want to say uh, used to be a lawyer apparently and now wants to get into digging for oil which is a kind of a random thing but there you go uh, then you have a uh, nice living in real estate and she also now wants to get into oil which is kind of convenient given this game is about oil mining and we have the uh, Ricardo, Brenos Diaz. I have sailed the world as a ship captain for years, and now I don't want to sail anymore. I want to go to a desert and dig up oil. So, uh, But I think I'm going to go with Joshua. I went with Joshua last time. He's a true cowboy, which given that this is kind of seeming to be set in the sort of western era of the United States, I like the idea of using Joshua. He's the, he's the home team. Uh, so anyway, let's jump straight in and start the campaign. First off, we meet the mayor. And basically, this is kind of your main sort of street, uh, screen that you get to between when you're actually digging. And it's kind of, it's nice, because as you go through the first few levels, the town kind of builds up. As you can see at the moment, all we've got is a town hall, but next door there's a guy uh, randomly hitting one of the scaffold poles. I'm not sure uh, if he's aware that that scaffolding doesn't remain after the building, and he probably should work on the bit of wall behind him, but apparently he's just going to keep hitting that. So, yeah, the town builds up as you go through the various different levels, and you then get access to more things that you can unlock and things like that, because this game does look incredibly simple, but there is some depth to it once you actually get into it. Uh, and it's generally, it's just about hoarding money and money and oil, and who doesn't like hoarding money and oil? So, okay, so let's read what he has to say about us. Mayor, squinty eyes, we'll call him. Hi there, future oil baron. Welcome to my soon-to-be lovely town. The oil industry will be booming here, but let's get to work. Click on the wagon and I'll show you the basics of oil drilling. So, I will run through the tutorial. I have done it before, so this is my little wagon. I'm not sure who Jill is. She's around a lot. Is that my wife? Would it be someone else if I'd have chosen a woman, or would it be? is this kind of a forward-thinking, old western kind of game? I don't know, Jill, but let's go mining. So, yeah, you click on her to basically start off. And then you end up here. Uh, time isn't progressing, is it? No, that's fine. You got a time is quite critical in this, particularly when you get older, uh, into the later parts of the game. So this is your kind of basic play screen, and it kind of looks like a lot of other these sort of two D uh, mining based games. Uh, this is above ground. There you go. Look, thank God I'm here to explain these things to you. Um, but basically, you can like do stuff across here, and you put mining drills, and then under here is where the the oil will be. But I have to find it first. And then this is left ink, and what you can basically do is sell the oil to them. And in a couple of a uh, couple of uh, levels time, right ink will appear. And then what happens is you can see the price here that they're buying oil for right now. They both have a price, and that fluctuates. So you have to keep an eye on that and kind of sell to the one. Well, ideally, sell to the one who's paying the uh, highest price. Uh, it sounds simple, but it gets a bit complicated, cause particularly when you're focusing down here. I constantly miss these, and I've got someone selling it, buying at 130, and I'm selling at 25 cents over here. So, yeah, there'll be plenty of opportunities for you to laugh at me for that. Uh, I'm not going to skip the tutorial. We are going to go through it, so just so you guys can see uh, what this is all about. Okay, hey, welcome, welcome to your first oil mining operation, Mayor Squinty Eyes. Just follow my instructions, and the oil will be flowing in no time. Awesome. Before you can start drilling for oil, you need to know where it is, so hire a dowser. 
bulldozer it sounds like a weird i always think bulldozer when i see that and that just is confusing so yeah so basically up here is where you can get your various things that you can build at the moment all i can do is a dowser so if i click on this and this is basically one of those guys with sticks that walks around pretending that they can sense things in the ground uh, but in this game they actually can so because they seem to have some kind of sonar based feet so now we have to just sit here while this guy walks back and forth and scratches his head with his stick Oop, and until he does that and he's found it awesome so he what he's saying there is somewhere below him is oil and you can actually be i've realized you can sort of sense check this or not sense check it, but you can add a little bit more granularity because in theory it could be anywhere below him and this does actually go down further than it is right now uh, however what i've realized is you can actually uh determine how deep it is because at the moment he's only a level one which means he probably can't scan much more than about here so the oil is probably going to be in this region here. When you get up to level 2, they can probably scan down to about here, and then level 3 goes down further. I don't know if there's more levels beyond that. I haven't really got that far. Um, so what you do is we're going to plonk down an oil derelict right where he, he is. And oh, see, it's told us. And then what you have to do is actually drill down for the, the oil. So I can drag this down, and I can go anywhere I like. And as you can see, it costs me more the further I go. But it's giving me a help, helpful hint. You don't normally get these arrows. This is just because it's a tutorial thing. You have to sort of guess how deep it's going to be. And that will set the uh, miner from dr mining drill sort of heading downwards until it finds the pocket of oil. Here we go. Now you can overshoot. So if I'd have gone too far then, it would have overshot. It wouldn't have just gone. Oop. Yes, I know we can sell it to you, Kyle. God, he looks miffed. Sorry. Why come out and tell me you want to buy oil if you miffed about it? Anyway. Yeah, if I'd gone too far, I it, I can't delete this. I can't change. I can't drag it back up. I would literally have to make another leg off it. Uh, he'll let me win. Go away, Kyle. Go away. We're, we're talking. How do I get rid of Kyle? Uh, select. Oh, uh, okay. I have to. Okay, that. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'll do it. I'll do the tutorial like you want it. Shall I? I don't want to explain to people what I want to explain. That's fine. So. Basically, now I need to put down a wagon. So you buy these horse wagons, and they are the things that actually take the oil out of the well and then take it over there to sell. So dump him, and he will go there and fill up. Yeah, so I, I, I would have to build another line, and I've had to literally do it where you have to do that to make it go back upwards because I missed it. Uh, one thing to note while I'm doing this is you can see that this bar here is filling up like the pipe. When that gets to the top, it will... Uh, if shit, uh, it will spill and I will get fined at the end of the level if that happens so you have to keep on top of emptying these out you see the bar goes down as he fills up yeah which doesn't seem like it'd be a problem right now given how slowly but once you, you can actually upgrade these and do things like that and it does get I am pretty bad at getting spills so you will probably see a lot of that Oop, there we go and we've finished the tutorial already so yeah get ready to see me uh, messing up a lot and you get your skill thing at the end which says that's how much I earned, that's how much I spent, and that's how much profit I made. So then we go back to town and right, comes down hall to meet your rivals. That's right, people, there are rivals. These are obviously AI rivals. It's not a multiplayer game. At least I'm not that I'm aware of, or well, there's no plans for it to be. Oh yes, I was expecting you. What can I do for you? Open your eyes! Look at me with your pupils! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Aggression. Uh, right, are you ready to say yeah? So if I click on world map, I then go into this and we get to meet our bobbly headed uh, Companions who are the people that we could have been but we weren't so This is the main map. These are all the various different plots of land that you can mine And if I click on this it starts oh, actually won't start looking Howdy partner uh, uh, That's just the same thing he said before we already know that and you we already know that yes We already know what all of your backstories are because I briefly covered them earlier so the first time round he's just going to give us a plot of land. After this we have to actually start bidding for land. So I got the very first one. And each land has a certain value in terms of how much oil it has. So it does uh, it does sort of change. Although, I'll, well, let me come to that later. There is a bidding process you have to go through later on. Which I don't really understand but I'll cover that in a bit. Right, uh, yeah, we've opened a bank. So we have a bank account and we can borrow money if we want to. But we don't need to borrow money because we've got $20,000 in the bank. So let's go dig, Jill. You crazy horse driving woman. Okay, well, you know the drill, high dowsers, blah blah blah. Right, so let's get a couple of these down because you need at least two of these. And it's not started yet, but in a second I will be given a deadline for a date. Basically, normally there's a calendar here which starts as soon as you start and you have to end your season finishes at a certain time of year. Uh, normally it's a hot. Oop, there we go, he's found one. Normally it's a year, but it does. Uh, 
it does vary based on um, yeah how much do a little one down there uh, it, the early ones are a bit shorter so you don't get a whole year so we're just going to have to do this sort of stage by stage and hope that we hit it and it's sometimes it's off on a bit of an angle it seems but not this time right there we go so we can plonk down a couple of these uh, it's unwise to start left things. Uh, it's better to first store your oil. Okay, right. So yeah, so this is the other side of it. I really don't want to build it there because I want. Does it matter if I don't build it there? I'd rather build it here. Uh, uh, I suppose we can just do that. There we go. Yeah. So because yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Because it's quite a low price right now, uh, it goes up to like one. Almost 150 is the highest I've seen. I try not to sell less than about 85 or something like that. Um, so what you can do rather than selling it is I can actually store it in here and wait until the price goes back up. Um, yeah, and you basically uh, if it's, ah here we go. Yeah, there comes the date. Um, basically, you control how many of your carts sell to here by using the up and down arrows, which I can't do right now. And then when this one's here as well, you can do the same. So I can say, right, send or sell every cart go to this one or every cart go to that one or no carts go there just put it in the silos or i can say half go here half go there but you never really need to do that because you're always going to want to sell to the highest price and they're not normally exactly the same price and as you can see the uh, date has now turned up and i've only got to the end of march before this one will end so we better get cracking let's get down another one of these uh yeah no we can get a loan i don't want a loan go away you filthy loan issuing banking person <laughs> that was that was eloquent there we go right oh, i hooked onto that one quite nicely as well right so now i probably need oh, no um so the problem is now say i've only got 41 and we're not selling anything but the price is skyrocketing right now so as soon as it hits a dollar i would buy that for a dollar right go on guys go sell Obviously, you've got to be a little bit careful because if you're not selling, these, as you can see, this little line, these will fill up. And once they fill up and all the carts are filled, there'll be nowhere for the oil to go other than to spill out the top. And we're probably going to need another one of these because we're not going to keep up right with that right now. Uh, there is a fast forward button that appears at some point. Uh, however, for now, you're kind of just going to have to suffer and watch for the uh, game grinds through. Um, it's not that difficult a game, I will say. Um, ooh, we can probably put the next one on. I also always get caught out with that. Feel free to play a little game with yourself to count how many times I get caught out because when you put down one more of these, which I'll do right now, it doesn't add it here. So right now this one is just going to fill it up. Actually, it'll take it to the silo. But if there's no silo space, you would just fill it up and then sit there. I constantly forget to do that. Another thing that ends up with lots of spillages. Uh, what else can we do right now? There's not really much. We could, uh, we could put out another dowser and try and get him to uh, do it. But you kind of have to start Obviously, I've got limited time. I'm already in sort of February. I've only got a month and a half left. So you have to sort of weigh up. Do I... It becomes a tipping point where... Oh, shit. The price is going through the floor. Um, yeah, there comes a tipping point where it's kind of better to not spend more money. Because right now, let's say I could put another dowser down. I could put another mill, uh, mill, another drill down and try and increase the amount of oil I'm producing and sell more but with only six weeks left have I got the time to recoup that investment and make some money out of it reality wise I probably could if I hit onto a decent size oil thing um, and it's not too far down but just to keep things simple we're not going to uh, we're not going to spend too much right now but I do hope that the uh, price of this comes back up before the next month one way or another as soon as this is full we're going to have to uh, start selling again 70p, come on, push me up to 80p, 80 cents or whatever it is. P is, that's like British people money. What, the denominations of 100 that lead to a pound? Just in case you're interested, it's actually called pence, but I don't know why we call it P's. 7p? I don't know, it's weird. Maybe someone out there will know. There we go, right, so now we just need to try and shift all this oil as fast as we can before we get to the end of the month. I don't want to buy another horse if I can avoid it, but I also don't want to end up with oil left in my silo. Um, should I buy another horse? No, we've got ten. Oh, shit, no. Uh, yeah, I'm going to buy one because literally one fill should pay for itself pretty much at this, uh, 120, it will, yeah. Oh, shit. Well, if I tell it to sell. Quick, quick, quick. Do one more. Where? Uh, why are you going to the... Ah, 
top, go to the bloody drills, go to the tank that's got loads of oil you can just grab quickly. And we'll get to the end, yeah, see, it's going to stop breaking down. Oh my god, look at the size of that oil, one in the middle. So... Give us a little bit of that before we go. Yeah. So, no, nah, that's not too bad. 2937, it's not a great start, I have done better, but you know, that's fine. That's fine, I should have probably gone a bit bigger earlier on, but with such a short window on the first mission, it's kind of a bit annoying. Oh, I battered everyone. How did you make $12? I mean, like... <laughs> I probably have $12 down the back of my sofa. Well, 12 English versions of dollars anyway. Anyway, she was rubbish. I was amazing. That's great. Hi, Fred. How are you? Um, you, uh, you're a pretty looking man. Anyway, uh, this is where I can buy upgrades and things like that. So if I go in here, you can see there's lots of different ones. And the first one I'm going to get is this one, which is basically allows me to double the width of my pipes, which is awesome because that means I can get more oil out the ground faster so I don't leave loads behind like I did last time. So I'm going to buy this, which is going to make me look like I've got low money. But these guys never seem to actually freaking spend any money on anything unless I'm missing it. I always seem to have less money than them, but, it, but loads of upgrades, so... And I decimate them every single time. So, anyway, so we don't just want that one. They're building something else there. Not sure what that one is. So, without further ado, let's go straight back to the land auction and get ourselves another mine. So, right now, this is where the sort of real game starts. So, let's zoom in. And these numbers, this is where I'm a bit confused because these numbers basically mean how much oil they f was found there. And you can see they're already mined. So, I can't go back there. I have to choose a new one. Now, at this stage, we're each going to bid, so like, if I say I want this one and another person wants it as well, I'll have to either outbid them or pick another piece of that. But as far as I can tell, there's no way for me to know whether any of these are good or bad. I've sort of tried in the last one to sort of follow trends if there are, but they don't seem to be any trends. They just seem to be pretty random, really. So, like, I'm going to pick that one because it's got trees. That's my only reason for that. You see, they had a bit of a bidding war and then she decided to go to that one. But I don't see the point in bidding against anyone because you don't know if your piece of land is better than anyone else's. So I just don't. I just. I generally just try and pick a piece that no one wants. Come on then, Jill, grab my two grand and let's go. Right. So what's different in this one? Oh, right. Writing has arrived, and we have till the end of June this time. So first things first, get these down. Yeah, go away. We don't care. I'm gonna get three down this time because I do want to get three rigs up and running on this one. So yeah, so now we have the situation where we have to keep an eye on both and decide where we want to sell. So right now I'd be selling to right if I had any. Who's gonna find it first? Come on, whistle, whistle, whistle. Hmm. Oop, there we go. Ooh, everyone found it. Let's try and get two down. You gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, I know, I can upgrade the pipe capacity. I just talked about that. The viewers have already seen that. Ooh, look at that, straight in. So, yeah, so you've got to be a little bit careful with how much you sort of spend early on because bear in mind, I still need to buy carts, and with two of these up and running, I'm going to need a few carts. Yeah, can't be much further because you can't look much further than this. Ooh, freaking hell, really? Ah, oh, there we go. God, he looked deep that time. I was only a diddy one. How oh, no! Oh shit! Talking about carts, I'm not actually getting them. Right, how many? Oh, I can only get two. Right, uh, sell to writing, please. That should give us enough to get one more cart. Is that there? Two there? Yes, I was going to say, I'm sure I had two. They were just tricking me by perfectly stealthing next to each other. There we go, one more for those. Alright, so you can have two more. Right, so we need to get another one going, really. As soon as we have enough money, oh fuck me, the price is dropping again. Uh, sell that so we can get a silo. There we go. And then stop selling there, please. Fortunately, now we are going to have to wait a little bit for the price to go back up, and or at least until the silo is full. Yeah, this one's not going to last. Once this one's out, I can then use this to find other additional ones. Um, like I can basically drag it. I could just drag this over to where he's talking about and maybe just get that, which might actually be more sensible. But there's got to be more. I reckon there's got to be at least one more from here to sort of here. And then there'll be certainly be at least one in this space. So maybe I should be sending that one that way instead. And you let's see, 29 cents. The prices do go really low. They can literally go down to zero. <laughs> it's like, nope, we don't want any of your oil. 
But we are going to have to start selling soon. Let's just sell one and get a bit more oil, maybe a bit of money, and put in a another silo. Because if you get these, like, if you get several silos filled, you know, and the price skyrockets, you can make a lot of money. Um, it's actually, yeah, it's quite, um, quite significant when you've got a lot of money just stood around waiting to go. Hmm. Come on, shitty prices. I need better prices. Oop, there we go. Let's whack down one of these. Shit, this one's going to run out any second. Well, I could send it. I don't know if to send it that way or not. Let me sell that one to it. Let's store the rest, please. I'm not selling it at freaking 70 cents a barrel or whatever. I don't know what the unit is. I was going to say a horse, but a horse isn't a measurement of liquid, is it? It's more of an animal type creature. 76, 71. Well, they're both going up at least. Hopefully by the time this is full we should be above 90. Oh shit, this one's about to run out though. There's a lot more, like you get a lot more technology for looking under the ground. It makes it a lot sort of easier to spot where the oil is in the future. But right now I kind of only have to rely on these guys, which kind of makes dragging this out difficult. But it's going to be a big waste. I've got to find another one for it somewhere. Stick them up. Another one of those over here. Oop, the oil one just ran out. Hmm. Hmm. You know, oh, fuck, I can't even afford it anyway, can I? Because I'm not selling. Ah, here we go. Right, up to a pound. A dollar. Go, guys. Sell for a dollar. Sell my precious oil. Oh, right, there's one all the way over there. You, so what do we do? I feel like it's probably going to be around this depth because that seems to be about the biggest depth they can go. I don't know how big this one is and whether there's a lot left or not, but uh, you know what? No, we're going to try and use this one. Oop, go away, you. Let's just hope it's somewhere there. The pipe itself will uncover a little bit on the way, but obviously it's not a big area it's uncovering and it's quite expensive to search. Oh, oh, did we get it? Oh yes. Very good, Timmy. Very good. Right. Uh, what am I going to do about this one? I don't. I need to. I. I feel like this is quite a big zone, so I don't know how much more oil that's going to have. Um. You can get upgrades that allow you to put multiple pipes off one, which would be nice to have right now. Let's upgrade all this. I feel like that one's a reasonable size. It's probably at least sort of this sort of size, so that should be sufficient. Although we've got to bear in mind we're only going till the end of June right now. Uh, Eighty cents. That's yeah, reasonable. He's lefting and uh, lefting's on the way down. That's annoying. Yeah, you see how fast this fills up now. You have to be careful and keep on top of that. Pretty static at eighty cents. That one. May, it was the end of June, so we've only got six weeks left, so I really don't want to spend too much more money, really. Just need to maximise our production. 107 to upgrade that. Hmm. Last month. The music gets faster. I do quite like the music in this. It's very sort of jaunty, uh... Uh, kind of, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, western type country music it makes me feel happy and then the banjo gets all fast and excited in the last month There's nothing better than a fast and excited banjo right uh, 90 cents awesome that is finally going up a bit let's make sure we're selling everything to them come on guys shift it for all your worth we've got two weeks left two weeks left or you'll all be shot well not maybe not shot but you know not paid as much do another one because it should, uh, although it's not really, it's only going to get one freaking delivery in that time. It should uh, pay for itself if it does one, and it might get two in if I'm lucky. I just want to shift some of that oil out of them silos. There's too much freaking oil in the silos. And the price is plummeting again. What do we miss? A massive one if it had gone down and left. 
got a loads of oil on this map. Could have gone a crazy time, but we're only six months. It's just once you get to the year, you've got time to think about getting all of the oil. But uh, well, we got 15 grand. See, smashed everyone again. I smashed your Ricardo. Absolutely pummeled you. There we go. And we got the workshop. Uh, hello, Edward. With some uh, beady little eyes you have. Uh, right, so this is where you can get your sort of more interesting inventions. So this is the one I really want to get to. This is a scanner which allows you to uncover a big area at the bottom. Uh, but for now, I'm going to buy the mole. What is it? 15? Ugh. I'm going to buy the mole because I need something to be able to help me search for oil a bit more effectively than I can right now. But I'm going to be a little bit close. So we're going to do one more and then I'm going to wrap this episode up because I was hoping to make this a shorter episode. But I want to do one more before I do that. And unfortunately, time is what it is. So let's crack on. Right. So again, you see, this is kind of 44, 45, 45. You know, I'll, I'll keep this because that's pretty good. Anyone bidding against me? Don't bid, please. Yes. You see, I don't know why. I don't know anything about that piece of land, so I'm not really sure why anyone would bid, bid against me when I don't know anything. But you know, it's just bid. Maybe they just think that I, because I've got most money, I know what I'm doing. Uh, right. So the mole basically, it's, a, it's kind of, it's a bit like the scanner, but it's a bit more, less effective. So you can see I can choose where I want to put it, and you see the little black the moley cute thing on the surface. So it says I should put it here, and the mole will go yoink. There we go, and it will go down a little triangle. And it will uncover uh, certain pieces. You see, like, it'll just uncover, I think it's five pieces. Ooh, nice, random little pieces. And hopefully one of those random little pieces will have oil in it, like that one did. They're not bad. They're, they're fairly useful. Don't, don't find that oil. Don't. I've already found it. Don't you dare. Yes, you shouldn't find it now that I've tapped it. I found one over there though, right, horse, yeah, I found another one over there, ooh, that's right below the surface there, I do want to get free, I'm hoping that's a decent size one, it's probably not, but, uh, where can we sell right now, uh, I should probably, actually that's not too bad size, right, uh, start selling some to right ink please, but they're not too bad, yeah, they're sort of two medium-sized ones, I think. So, definitely going to get a third one up and running. I mean, you can make some serious dollar. You can make some serious bank on these levels, particularly the longer ones. Uh, if you go big straight from the get-go. Right, I'm not going to bother a mole down here. What I normally do with the moles is that I will literally spam down five or six of them at once to try and uncover an area. And even with that, you know, I... I've had, like, say, an area like this where I've got, like, 30 blocks uncovered and I still miss There's a massive oil thing right in the middle of it that I miss. Oh, nice. Hit that one. Uh, right, that looks could be a fairly big one, that. So I'm going to upgrade that. Not going to bother upgrading that one because I think that's not huge. Uh, we're going to need two more of these. And then we're going to start putting a couple of moles down. Let's see if we can't find anything in here. Uh, did it, uh, what is it, end of June again? Okay, that's fine. Probably for the best, because if it was a year-long one, this episode would end up being massive. I only want to make it slightly, uh, well, tight on the time on this episode, just because I want to get this episode up and just gauge... Oh, yes, oil there. Is that oil? Yeah, it's the edge of oil. Awesome, I can grab that one once I've done this. Uh, yeah, I want to try and get it up, um, because I think, I think there might be some interest in this game. I think it's quite a, it's quite a novel little idea, and, uh... I mean, it's quite catching in terms of eye-catching when you see it. So I'm hoping uh, some people out there might be interested in watching this. I do want to get it up, sort of, as I say, with the game being released in a couple of days. I want to try and get it up. So I want to keep the episode... Re oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, Timmy. Yeah, I know I am. See? Talk ah! <laughs> okay, so yeah. See, see what I was saying about spillaging and me not paying attention? Particularly when I'm trying to talk about other things. Yeah, so... Because I upgraded all these pipes, they're actually filling up pretty quickly and I'm not selling anything, which is why... It... See, I forgot. I did all of the things there that I said I would do. Spillages, not keeping an eye on the prices, not clicking on these when I get new people and just... <sighs> Quick. So I will get a pretty hefty fine now at the end. But I'm already at $3,000, so that is pretty nice. Right. Uh, shit, this one's run out. Can you find, try and find me another one? Dump a few moles down in here and just see if we can't find another one. 
Uh, this one's going to finish any second. We're going to nip that one over to there. That one, I don't know how long, much longer that one's going to... Oh, there it is. Beautiful. There we are. Grab that before he spots it. There we are. Upgrade. There we are. I should keep them busy for a little while. This one should end up finish any second, I think. Oh, is that one there? Yes, there's another one there. Oh, is that? Oh, is that? No, that's the edge of this one. This is a big one, isn't it? Oh, uh, did you just find the one there? I'll tap that one before I uh, send any moles down there. I think that's probably the same. What? Ah, there we go. Finished. See how big this one is. As far as I'm aware, there's no limit on how far I can go with these pipes, uh, but you can't cross them over each other. So I can't, I wouldn't be able to go back across there, and I can't cross another pipe, so. Gotta bear that in mind. I have got caught out by that a couple of times. And we wanna just stick a mole down here just to check that is the same one. I'm pretty sure it is. And let's stick a couple down here. Uh, oop. Yeah, pay attention to prices because they've just switched around. I'm gonna stick a uh, one of these down as well, just in case. Uh, yeah, that is the same one. Oh yes, there's another one there. So when this one's out, I can pick that one up. Did I upgrade that one? No, upgrade that. Get another one of them because with that, oh shit. Eight and a half grand already. Nice. Oh man, there's another one there. Oh, this is where I need all the upgrades. What we got? Two months? Fuck it. Fuck it. Go big or go home. That is the plan. This is going to be... Oh, I just need the prices to stay stable. I'm already at 50. That's the maximum amount of wagons I can get right now. So, Come on. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. You only have a month to, uh, to make any money out of that well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have, have time to upgrade it, unfortunately. Oh, this one finished. Possibly uh, not the best thing I could be doing there. Oop, right, left ink has cornered the market again. Everyone rush to the left, quick, quick. Uh, is this one going to run out? I feel like we're going to have enough oil now to keep us going. I'm going to upgrade one of these. Oof, probably shouldn't have bothered with that upgrade. By the time it gets done, it's going to be the end of the month. But if either of these two run out, we're going to need that big pipe to keep the uh, things at maximum capacity till the end. Obviously, prices are staying fairly buoyant right now. Come on. Is it going up or down? Uh, yeah, it's going up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Come on. go Crash, go real high. You're like 140 or something. 14 grand, awesome. I'm gonna absolutely, I'm gonna laugh in those other guys' faces. When I get back there, if that girl's got $12 again, she's gonna get some ribbon. Some hardcore oil, oil mining ribbon. Actually, that sounds like a, <laughs> that sounds dodgy. Uh, there's no sense listening to that bit. Anyway, well, uh, right, slightly edging ahead in price. Screw you, left. There is no brand loyalty here. It's like the real world of fossil fuels. Oh, and here we go. End of the day. Uh, ooh, we almost got them all. Oh, no, there's one there. Ooh, where? Yeah, we almost tapped all of that one. Tapped all of that one. Ooh, see, so yeah, I got a $1,000 fine for that spillage. Oopsie. Naughty Timmy. Um, spillage. Yeah. I only had the one. No, oh, they are barrels. 15,000 barrels, nice. Average 96 pence per barrel, that's not too bad. I kept ahead of the uh, pricing, not too bad. There we are, so we've now got, ooh. Uh, uh, well, she did a little bit at this time, but I still smashed you all. I still got more on my own than the three of you got together. So you go back to being a lawyer, you go back to real estate, and you just fucking drown, you piece of shit. Anyway, sorry, I don't know why I'm being mean to them. They've done anything wrong. Uh, we have unlocked one more thing, which is the stable, which allows us to upgrade our horses to get bigger carts and faster horses and more uh, bigger or more amounts of horses. So 
But we'll la uh, lave, we will save, more likely, uh, all that excitement for the next episode because we are over time now, so I'm going to wrap this one up. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This is Turmoil. It's uh, quite a fun little game, and I say it's on Steam. It's, I think, 6 99 in the UK, which is pretty reasonable for a casual type game like this. But it is actually quite a lot of fun. So I'll be uh, doing a couple more episodes on this and just gauging if there's any interest in it. But uh, I think I'll be playing this on my own in my spare time if there is no interest anyway. Because I quite like this kind of game. So I've been Timmy. This has been Turmoil. I thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll join me for the next episode.